Good morning, America and beyond. I am Gray Dean, and your host with a little right and wrong. But turn on some lights here. Make me a little clearer, because the last thing we need is a fuzzy me, right? I'm glad that you're with me this morning and uh, joining me. Before we get going, if you want to reach out to me, little right wrong at gmail.com. Little right wrong on YouTube and on CNM News. CNM News, NEWZ.com is the website, CNM News. Um, where you'll find um, all of my um, video devotionals uploaded and uh, and ready for you to look at. Today's devotional is titled, Pray Without Losing Heart. Don't be discouraged when God answers. Don't come as quickly as you want. He is up to something good. We'll add probably a little side note to that that um, would say perhaps you're praying for the wrong thing, too. Um, but we'll get into that a little bit in um, the scriptures out of Luke. 18, 1 through 8. If you want to grab your Bibles, we will read that together. Luke 18, 1 through 8. Now he was telling them a parable to show that at all times they ought to pray and not to lose heart, saying, In a certain city there was a judge who did not fear God and did not respect man. There was a widow in that city, and she kept coming to him saying, Give me legal protection from my opponent. For a while he was unwilling, but afterward he said, to himself, even though I do not fear God, nor respect man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will give her legal protection. Otherwise, by continually coming, he will wear me out. And the Lord said, hear what the unrighteous judge said. Now, will not God bring about justice for his elect who cry to him day and night? And will he delay long over them? I tell you that he will bring about justice for them quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? One of the most difficult aspects of prayer is perseverance. Not only do our newly made commitments, uh, not only do our newly made commitments to be more consistent often fail, our willingness to continue petitioning the Lord also tends to wane with time when answers aren't forthcoming. But God's promise to answer his children's prayer hasn't proven false, even if we don't see results as soon as we hope. The Lord, who is sovereign over heaven and earth, works everything according to his purposes. His purposes. With our complete limited human understanding, we don't always know whether our petitions fit God's plan or timetable. Get into your scripture, it'll help you know. But whether he grants our request or not, we can be certain that his way and timing are always best and for our good. It is in the way that the Lord accomplishes spiritual work in our life, training us to trust him in the delays, rest in his wisdom to decide what's best, and persevere in prayer as he commands. To, de to demand immediate answers to our request would be to act like spiritual toddlers, which is what we do 99% of the time, even though we don't admit it. The ability to wait is a sign of maturity. And that's what God desires for us. So keep praying, be patient, and persevere. Because in the process, you're becoming more like Christ. You're becoming more like Christ. It's the end of the Bible study. My two thoughts. You're becoming more like Christ if you're praying that the Lord's will be done. So much of the time, our prayers are focused around us. And our money, money <laughs> monetary issues, financial issues. Um, personal issues, bar issues, house issues, you name it. They're all issues related to us that we oftentimes pray for. We just talked earlier in here that if we pray according to His will. And so we're put here on earth to glorify God. Don't forget that. And our jobs as His servants are to glorify Him and to bring Him glory. To bring him glory in our riches, to bring him glory in our poverty, to bring him glory in our health, to bring him glory in our illness. We're here to bring him glory. Who wouldn't want physical healing if we're hurt? But understand that even in that physical healing, that healing is done not that we would be healed, but that we. Through that healing, could be bringing glory to God. 
most of our relationship deals with the condition of the heart. And so I can't judge another man's heart and another man's prayer. And another man can't judge my heart and my prayer. It's a relationship. And you need to figure out your relationship with Christ. Not my relationship with Christ. You need to figure out your relationship with Christ. And I think once you concentrate on that relationship with Christ, then you start to become more in line with God's will. And God's will is, is that we would make disciples. Um, that we love people. That we love people with the love of God. God defines love. I don't think that it's God's will that I get rich or have a bigger house or have a nicer car. All for the sake of getting rich, having a nicer house, or having a nicer car. We are here to serve God. Jesus died on the cross to forgive our sins. It's not the other way around. So, be perseverant in your prayer life. Continue to pray. But just because the prayers aren't answered right away, doesn't mean you're not getting an answer. Perhaps it means you're not getting the answer that you want right now. Keep praying. Don't give up. And I hope you see you tomorrow. Peace, everybody. Mm -hmm.